Guys, I think I got the best key lime pie recipe out there. I saw a video where Andrew Zimmern shared a recipe for the key lime pie filling that he got from a Miami firefighter who got the recipe from someone in the Florida Keys. And the Florida Keys are obviously known for key lime pie. So I decided to take that recipe and match it with a graham cracker crust I know is amazing from Mumufuku Milk Bar. Smash those two together and I promise it's gonna be the best key lime pie you've ever had. Let's just jump right into it. So the main difference between key limes and regular limes is these are smaller, obviously. They're more acidic, they have more seeds. When they're ripe, they're more of a yellow color. And its juice is a lot more aromatic, which is why it's used in key lime pie. The problem is they're small, they don't have a lot of juice. It's gonna take us a couple bags to get this done, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. But we need a cup of it. And since they're seedier, we're gonna have to strain it through a strainer. And you should be able to find key limes somewhere. If you can't, try the internet. And if you still can't, then just use limes. I've done it before in the past and it's fine. We're going for one to one and a quarter cup of the juice. I'm gonna start off with two bags, I have one more. This is probably gonna get me to about one cup, but we'll have to see. And I have a cut on my finger, so I'm just gonna wear a glove or else it's gonna sting. Gonna need that third bag. So now, this looks like about a one and a quarter cup. If I had one cup, it'd be fine. Anything in that range, it doesn't need to be exact. Put this over to the side. We need eight egg yolks. So we're gonna separate out the egg yolks. You can either make egg whites with the whites or you can make my Italian spicy fried chicken. We start the chicken in the egg whites. So instead of wasting all these egg whites, that's a way to use them if you're ever making something that calls for just the yolks. So eight of these guys. Crack all the eggs into a bowl. When I'm separating a lot of egg yolks, I like to use my hands. Just dig your hand in there, scoop out the yolk, shake it to loosen off all the egg whites, and you should have perfectly separated egg yolks. So what I love about this recipe that Andrew Zimmern shared, how easy to remember it is. All it is is two 14 ounce cans of sweetened condensed milk, which is just sweet milk, it's what we use in the ice cream. Two 14 ounce cans, the cans come in different sizes, so get the 14 ounce ones. One to one and a quarter cup of uh, the key lime juice, that's easy to remember. Eight egg yolks, a little bit of salt. And that's all that goes into the filling. We're just gonna combine this all into a bowl, done. Filling's ready. This is the best graham cracker crust you're ever gonna have. It's not my recipe, it's Christina Tosi. She kinda knows what she's doing, so uh, I don't question people like that. Starts off with one packet and one half. So a box comes with three of these. Each box gives you enough for about two pie crusts. So just gonna take this guy and empty it into a big Ziploc bag. Right now I'm gonna let the air out while I smash it quickly. Once I got them into like little pieces, I'm gonna, I'm gonna seal it and try and get a lot of that air out so it doesn't pop. And we're just gonna roll. You got perfect graham cracker crumbs without any sort of machine or anything. Hate dirtying stuff. So one of the strange ingredients in this recipe is milk powder. So a quarter cup of milk powder, two tablespoons of sugar. 
About four tablespoons of melted butter. To be honest, I always add a little bit more, like six tablespoons, because if it doesn't quite come together, you add a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a little bit now, and then I have a little bit extra if I need later. And then a quarter cup of heavy cream. And then mix that together. That's sort of what you want to see. You can even eat it. Forget about it. Just make sure it's moldable so you can form that crust against the pie dish. So start with the crust. Get the graham crackers in there and kind of like you're forming a pizza dough, just work from the inside out, compress that graham cracker into the bottom of the pie dish and start to work the edges in. You don't want it loosely packed, you want it nice and compact. Then you can use a measuring cup to compress the edges while you're using your thumb to kind of push down, creating a nice dense graham cracker crust. I don't know about you, but to me it's all about the crust. So I like a nice thick crust. So now we're just gonna add our filling. I like to get it on some sort of sheet tray. It's just easy to, to pull in and out of the oven and check for doneness. This is gonna go into a 325 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. But we're really looking for the crust to start to brown. When you shake it, there's no jiggle to the outside. There's just a little bit of jiggle towards the center. So let's just throw it in the oven. Carefully place the pie in the oven and then set a timer for 25 minutes but you're likely gonna have to cook it for longer. Start checking it at around 25 minutes. It should firm up rapidly after a little jiggle. This was too loose, so I threw it in for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it looked good. You could also check for doneness with a thermometer. You're looking for 145 degrees internal temperature at the center of the pie. See how it tightens up after a little jiggle? That's kind of what you're looking for. This needs to cool completely on the counter first. Once we're able to touch it, we're gonna throw it in the refrigerator, let it chill completely. Best overnight, but obviously, I'm not gonna wait overnight. I'm gonna go as long as I think I can, and then give it a cut, and we'll try it in a few hours. So, we're gonna let it chill. After a few hours, it's cool enough to touch. I threw it in the refrigerator to really cool. Then I started working on whipped cream. All it is is heavy cream and maple syrup, and then I'm gonna whip it until there's about a soft peak. Whipped cream's really easy to over whip, so once you start to get close, then you really slow down and check every few seconds and dial it in. That's not right, it's too loose. That's about right. You can see it transform really quickly and you know you're done. You want it nice, fluffy, and beautiful. Once the pie is cooled, Ideally overnight, it's ready to serve. Just top with a little whipped cream and some lime zest. It's so perfect. That crust, it's kind of crunchy, it's kind of soft and moist. I even pulled this out. It's still like lukewarm, it's not really cold yet. So make sure you chill it properly. But the winner is the crust. And as you can see, I like to pack it in there thick. That's all I got for you today. This is the best key lime pie. This is definitely up there in terms of key lime pies that I've had. Second to probably key lime pie in the Florida Keys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for my patrons scrolling up and your continued support. If you would like to become a patron, there's a link down in the description and on the screen. I love you all. Thank you so much. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.